Welcome everyone to our YouTube channel. Today we are here with another case study related to cyber forensic, a illegal money transfer case. The case belongs to City Pune, State Maharashtra, and the section of law applying this case are Section 467, Section 468, Section 471, Section 379, Section 419. Section 420, Section 34 of IBC and 66 of IT Act. So the background of this case is the accused in the case were working in a BPO that was handling the business of multinational bank. The accused during the course of their work had obtained the personal identification number, PIN and other confidential information of bank's customer. Using these, the accused and their accomplices through different cyber cafes transfer huge sums of money from the accounts of different customer to fake accounts. The investigation of this case started on receiving the complaint. The entire business processes of the complaint firm was studied and a system analysis was conducted to establish the possible source of data theft. And the investigator was successful in arresting two people as they laid a trap in a local bank where the accused had fake accounts for illegally transferring money. During the investigation, the system server logs of the BPO were collected. The IP addresses were traced to the internet service provider and ultimately to the cyber cafes through which illegal transfer were made. And the register maintained in the cyber cafes and the owner of the cyber cafe assisted in identifying the other accused in the case. The email IDs and phone call printouts were also procured and studied to stabilize the identity of the accused. The email accounts of the arrested accused were scanned which revealed vital information to identify the other accused. And some email accounts of the accused contained swift codes which were required for internet money transfer. All the 17 accused in the case were arrested in the short span of time. The charge sheet was submitted in the court within the stipulated time. In the entire wire transfer scam, an amount to the twin of about INR 19 million was transferred. Out of this, INR 9 million was blocked in transit due to timely intimidation by police. INR 2 million was held in balance in one of the bank accounts opened by the accused, which was frozen. In addition, the police recovered cash, ornaments, vehicle, and other articles amounting to INR 3 million. During the investigation, the investigating officer learned the process of wire transfer, the banking procedure, and weakness in the system. The investigating officer suggested measures to rectify the weakness in the present security system of the call center. This has helped the local BPO industry in taking appropriate security measures. So, the last is current status of this case, the case pending trial in the court. This case won the India Cyber Corp Award for its investigating officer Mr. Sanjay Jhadav, Assistant Commissioner of Police Crime, Pune Police. The panel of the judges feel that this case was the most significant one for the Indian IT industry during 2005 and was investigated in a professional manner, with substantial portion of the swindle funds being immobilized, a large number of persons were arrested and the case was sent to the court for trial within 90 days. Thank you for watching the video. For more such case studies, subscribe our channel 
and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any case studies.